Good day, everybody, and welcome back to another Ross Reviews, where today we are in a Sandman. And I know what you're probably thinking, that don't look like no Sandman, Jono, but it is, technically. This is a 2015 Sandman Edition VF Ute. And although it might not be the good old 1970s true blue Aussie surfer's paradise Sandman you guys all know, this thing, we're going to find out today if it actually does deserve to wear the Sandman nameplate. So strap up guys and let's get into this video. Now just before we get into this Sandman guys, I got to do a huge thank you to Westside Autos for actually loaning me this vehicle today. This is for sale, a link for it will be in the description below. And if you guys are after a used car, check out Westside Autos because the huge variety is absolutely immense. It is one of the biggest used car dealers in Perth. So yeah, if you end up going over there, let them know I sent you and uh, let's get back into this Sandman <laughs> Ute. This is gonna be interesting, let's go. Oh yeah, you gotta love a V8. Now the Sandmans are an Aussie classic because back in the 70s, all the young people absolutely loved them. You know, you could have got them in utes or panel vans and especially the panel vans because strap a couple of surfboards up top, you know, head out to the beach, camp all weekend, you know, sleep in the back, V8, four speed, you know, there was plenty of configuration with the Sandmans and people just love to customize them. And it was just such a cool era of cars. And honestly, anytime you hear the word Sandman, people just instantly know what you're talking about. And it is such an iconic nameplate. So being in this one today, I don't know guys, we're gonna find out if this really deserves the nameplate, but from the basics here, let's get into it. You know, this is a 2015, it is a VF Commodore. This is a Ute version. Now, they did come out in Utes and they did come out in wagons for these Sandman editions. You also could have got them as an SV6, an SS, or an SSV like we're driving today. So there was kind of a huge amount of customization again, but that was really just in the model type. Now we're just getting into some of these corners here and you know this is just a standard VF, V8, six speed manual, you gotta love that. And it handles it pretty well, look. Getting in this real tight hairpin here again, drop down into second. Being a standard car, it definitely has a little bit of roll, but not bad. Get onto it. Oh yeah. Soaks up the road really well because we're still on stock suspension here and uh, you know you do get a little bit of roll in it, a little bit of lean, but it's comfortable out on this rougher back road, that is for sure. The steering actually is pretty nice as well. You know, again, you got that lean in it, but it's very, it's pretty direct. I actually quite like the steering. The steering wheel itself feels quite nice, very chunky in the hands. The VF interior is absolutely beautiful. You know, it really was a great step forward from the VE and just, yeah, they really nailed the interior on these. Absolutely love them, even till this day. Just a pretty damn nice interior, gotta admit. Now, just having a walk around on this Sandman Ute. Uh, yeah, let's have a look at the outside because this is pretty much what you're buying. So. Being the Sandman, it's pretty much, let's not get around it, it's a sticker kit. So, you know, you've got these vinyl decals up on the bonnet. You do actually have a couple of blacked out pieces up front, which does actually give it a good look. 20 inch blacked out wheels as well. I do actually think these were specific. I could be wrong on that, but they do look pretty nice. Again, all the VFs, I don't like that fake vent, but yeah, another vinyl sticker runs all the way down the side. You have a Sandman decal right here. And you know, when you come around, you've just got your, your cover here for the ute bed, blacked out rails that are up here, which again, that does look pretty nice for the Sandman. Blacked out piece above this, 
license plate, and then you've got, again, Sandman, the line, uh, you've got your exhaust system here. And I don't know, what do you guys think? You know, look, I think it definitely looks all right. I don't mind the decals, actually. I think in white, it does look a little bit tacky. You could only get this car in white, silver, or black. And I really think black was the color to pick. Uh, the orange and black just looks really well. Uh, if we come inside, you will see that you do get specific floor mats. So they do have this kind of stripe that goes up and down it again, which, you know, okay. Seats, all standard VF. Everything in here is a standard VF. You could have gotten optional orange for seat covers, which again, pretty tacky, but I actually think they should have come standard. I don't think that should have been an option, honestly. I really just feel like it should have come with it. Probably the nicest feature in here is the Sandman that is stitched into the dash here. I really do like that. I love the, uh, the suede and the leather up there. It's always a nice feature. Faux carbon fiber. Again, everything in here is exactly the same as a VF, which is a good thing because it's a great vehicle. It's just being the Sandman, I really wish there was a couple of nicer little details in here. You know, again, you could have had that fur. This particular one doesn't have it. It was like a $450 option. They should have all got it. Uh, also on the back window, it was an option to get Sandman on the back window. I Again, I don't like that. They should have just put everything on these Sandmans and that was it. But they gave you all these options. So yeah, it's pretty much a sticker kit on a VF. That's basically all it is. But again, this is a nice vehicle. Now under the bonnet, we have the six liter L77 V8 up front, naturally aspirated. This thing puts out 270 kilowatts and about 530 newton meters of torque. And you know, made it with the six speed manual, that is where it's at. You know, you gotta have that manual with these V8s. It's just the only combination that works. And honestly, you know, if you're talking about a turbo or, a, you know, something other than a V8, performance modes, you can get away with it. You know, even the European models, they can kind of get away with their dual clutches and stuff like that. But just in these more old school power plants, you gotta have it in the manual. You just do. And it's, it's really criminal in my mind if you don't. I mean, fair play if you don't, but mate, in my book, it is bloody criminal. This is too good. Let's go ahead and talk about price here quickly. This being the Sandman, you're gonna look around that 50 grand mark, which honestly is not much different than what you would have paid for a regular one. But when you start looking into what you actually get with the Sandman, it kind of makes a little bit of sense why the prices are so similar, because you don't get that much. And I think a lot of people actually would rather just a normal one because maybe they think it's a little tacky or they're not a big fan of the sticker designs. Uh, you know, those, those bits and that. Because honestly, if you were thinking this was gonna be a true special edition Sandman, collectors would have been perking their ears up. And then when they seen this thing, what it had, I think they were a little bit let down and basically did not think this was gonna be a collector's car after all. It was kind of more of a gimmicky car, I'm gonna say it, but you know, I still feel like these are brilliant vehicles because the VF is just such a good car. It just is. And you can still see it in the prices today because on the used market, to get one of these, you're going to be looking about $60,000. So these things have actually gone up in price, even with this particular one having 35,000 kilometers. So again, a huge thank you to Westside Autos for allowing me to take this out. This one is currently for sale there. So if you guys are interested, a link again is in the description below. Now, just before we continue with this Sandman Ute, guys, please make sure you go ahead and hit that big red subscribe button and click the bell notification so you do get updated on all our weekly uploads. And let's get back into this Sandman, guys, because I'm loving this thing. Yeah, boy. Now, these were never a limited edition numbered vehicle. But from doing some research on the forums, they are meant to have only been about 249 Sandmans ever made. And that is across the board from Utes, wagons, SV6s, SSs, 
SSVs. So there really was not that many of these ever made. So about 249 and something silly about, you know, half of them were wagons, about half were utes kind of thing. It's kind of interesting. You know, I, I definitely wouldn't think there was that many of these made because it was definitely going to be an acquired taste. And I think they really did miss the board on just bringing something a lot more special and unique with this Sandman nameplate because without a doubt they should have given this a different exhaust and a slightly better tune you know all they would have had to have done was give this thing an extra 10 kilowatts of power a different exhaust a fancier shifter a fancier wheel and I think a lot more people would have been on board with this car you know number them specifically and you would have had a collector's item you would have you know again would it have been to the level of a Sandman again even with those probably not but I think a lot more people would have bought into it because the way this is at the moment it is literally a sticker kit floor mats seat covers if you optioned it and that's it you know everything else is exactly the same as your typical SSV or whatever version you got as a Sandman so that's the disappointing factor for me really because I really feel like if you look say at the bullet Mustang I thought that could have been a gimmick but when I drove that car they gave it more horsepower they gave it its own exhaust they made it louder it had its unique gauge cluster it had you know different seats you could get in that thing so you know they kind of did enough in my books to make that bullet special for the price tag which I really think they could have charged, you know, you could have paid a hundred grand for one of these instead of 50 if they had it done those extra bits and made it an actual collector's item. So I really do think Holden completely stuffed this up and it is a bit of a shame because the Sandman is such an iconic name. It is a little bit of a letdown that they gave it with such a weak effort. Get around this tight hairpin again here. Oh, I love this corner. And rear wheel drive, just, oh yeah. It hit the apex. Oh yeah. There is something so sweet about just hitting a nice corner, giving it shit all the way through second into third and just flat sticking one of these utes, man. It is so good. And that is why these things cost what they cost now because they're just such a brilliant vehicle. And man, we did not know how good we had it back in the day. And it is such a crying shame that Holden and Ford are no longer making these beauties because literally, give me this exact car right now, 2022, I'm gonna buy it because I, you don't need to change anything, you know? This is how I want it. Man, it's a crying shame. It really is. Here we go. Build it up a little bit. Oh, bugged it. There we go. Bogged a little bit. I definitely could have uh, probably punched it a little bit harder at the beginning, but it's very frustrating with these cars because they don't have a proper handbrake. And that's really my biggest gripe with these vehicles because I hate the electronic handbrake, especially in this old school platform. Just give me the handbrake because I can just kind of hold that up while I'm in first, send it, drop it at the same time. That's just a better way. But let's see what that time was. Zero to 100 was in six and a half seconds. And honestly, that's not too bad. You know, we've got to remember we're in a manual, totally stock example. 270 kilowatt. I definitely could have gotten it off the line better. We did bog a little bit. So I reckon, you know, with some practice in this vehicle, you could definitely be around that six seconds, probably even sub six seconds on a perfect run. You know, you definitely could be sub six seconds on a perfect run, I think. So yeah, it's pretty quick, you know, it really is. So that is the video guys, a huge thank you to Westside Autos once again for loaning us this Sandman. <laughs> what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. 
it is a little bit of a gimmick. It is a bit of a sticker kit, but at the same time, you just gotta love these V8 manual VF Utes. They're so good. I absolutely love this thing. It was so much fun to drive. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Hit that like button, consider subscribing. We'll see you on that next video.